hello everyone and welcome to my channel uh, thanks for being here again if you're uh, this is not your first time watching any of my videos and if it is your first time my name is Niori and I'm an orchid grower I like to post uh, videos every time I uh, get any new orchid in my collection and I also like um, sharing whatever I have in bloom <clears throat> or any other uh, issue related with growing orchids uh, today I'm doing a care collab video regarding this um, beauty you see here uh, this uh, care collab video I'm doing it with also uh, Ninja from Ninja's Orchid she's also doing this care collab about this orchid her name is uh, LC Dinar Blue Heaven there is her tag LC Dinar Blue Heaven <coughs> I uh, I bought this plant I think less than two years ago on eBay I got her blooming size and I uh, she came in a pot but then like around six months ago I unpotted her and I put her here on this wood basket and you guys she's doing amazing here she has no media at all but she has attached so well to this basket looks um, she has very healthy roots a lot of roots and she pulled I think if I'm not wrong two uh, new growths but only one gave me these two beautiful blooms when the flower first open they are a little bit lighter and they get um kind of lavender with uh, the days and she smells amazing i think um among all the carrea i have in my collection she's one of the most fragrant ones <clears throat> she has a beautiful leaf dark purple with yellow inside you can smell her from far away i wish you guys can smell her but i know you can't <laughs> um she's another species see um she's a cross between saint uh, catleya saint godard and catleya dina i don't know if i said the, the name right but these uh care collab videos are um, about how I care for for any specific orchid ninja and I have the same orchid and I live in South Florida um, summers get really hot but Catleya uh, needs a lot of light so let me move a little bit backwards so you guys can see I have her on the brightest side of my orchid house she gets the strongest um, sun where I have her about the fertilizer I barely I'm gonna be honest <laughs> I barely fertilize I don't have much time to do so um, I probably do once a month or every two months i know that's not the ideal but that's what i can do and since uh, they bloom for me and they are most of them are doing good so i barely fertilize uh, but when i do what i use is uh, a 2020 20 formula uh, that it uh, fits both roots and and the leaves 
It is a formula that has 20% nitrogen, 20% phosphorus, and 20% potassium. What I use is um, half a spoon, a half a teaspoon in a gallon of water. It is recommended uh, every two weeks, but like I say, I don't have much time to do so and I uh, do it once a month or maybe once every two months. Uh, the water, I water her every day. I water her every day because like I said here in South Florida, the summers get really hot and since uh, she's bare root, no media, she gets very dry. So I do water her every single day in the morning or uh, three, four times a week. And during the summer, I reduce the water. I leave her here outside, but I do reduce the water to once per week. And that's it. That's um, how I care for this beautiful orchid right here. Uh, everyone is different. It depends on where you live, uh, how your climate and your growing conditions and all that stuff matters when it comes to growing orchids. But maybe my video or Ninja's uh, video can help any of you who are watching growing your orchid. And that's it, you guys. I'm gonna post uh, photos of uh, the fertilizer I use. I already did. <laughs> And that's it. I hope you like the video and I hope this uh, is of some help. Thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye. And please uh, don't forget to go visit Ninja's Orchid uh, channel. I will put a link of her care collab video in my description. There's always something to learn from others. Bye-bye.